Hi everybody. Today's story is Baby Baboon and it's by Adrena Kennaway. I can see Baby Baboon here. He's a type of monkey. Oh, and who's this in the shadows? Hmm. It looks like it might be leopard. Baboon and Baby Baboon were playing in a leafy tree outside Leopard's cave. Leopard was hungry, but he was also very lazy. So he lay silently in the tall, cool grass with just the tip of his tail showing. Soon Hare came out, hop, hop, hopping along. Leopard leapt up from the long grass and chased Hare. He chased him backwards and forwards. Oh, look at his teeth. What will Hare do to escape? Until Hare ran down a hole in the river riverbank. I've got you now, thought Leopard, and he hid behind a big yellow bark tree, waiting for Hare to come out again. He waited and he waited. Up in the tree, baby baboon laughed. Leopard grew thirsty and tired of waiting. He called to Baboon and Baby Baboon. I'm going to the river to drink. If you will guard this hole for a moment and make sure hair does not come out, I will share my dinner with you. Soon Baboon came down and watched the hole. But while she watched, Hare ran to the end of the tunnel and he dug his way out. You can see. Hare's gone in a hole here, under the ground, dug a tunnel and escaped. That was pretty clever. Leopard looked up just in time to see Hare scampering away in the distance. And up in the tree, Baby Baboon laughed and laughed. <laughs> Leopard was very cross. You let Hare get away, he roared. I'll have to eat you instead. So Baboon and Baby Baboon ran off and Leopard chased them and chased them round and round. Baboon ran to the top of a tall fever tree. Here he is chasing them round and round. But Baby Baboon ran too slowly and Leopard caught him firmly by the tail. And Baby Baboon didn't laugh, not once. He cried, oh no, Leopard's going to get him. Now clever, Vervet Monkey was also watching from the fever tree and he called loudly to Leopard. Baboons are very tough to eat, but I can tell you how to make them tender as the soft, delicious papyra fruit. There's the monkey. Mmm. How is that? growled Leopard. You throw a baboon as high as can be in the air, suggested Vervet Monkey. The more times the better. And soon the baboon would make a very tasty, tender snack. Well, they are extremely tough to chew, grunted Leopard. So he threw baby baboon high into the air. Just as he flew by, baboon grabbed baby baboon and they went swinging away through the trees. And Baby Baboon laughed and laughed. <laughs> and Leopard was crosser and hungrier than ever. He ran after them and chased them up and down, but he couldn't catch them at all. There he is chasing, he's so angry and hungry. And here's Baboon and Baby Baboon laughing and running away. They tricked him. To this day, if you look carefully up in the tall trees, you may see Leopard lying in wait for Baboon. And you might just hear Baby Baboon laughing and laughing. <laughs> what a good story. How kind was Bevet Monkey to help Baby Baboon and trick 
leopard. So baby baboon was safe in the end. Bye bye.